hello friends let us start with the subject sst for the chapter number 9 prairies the treeless grasslands with the sub topics location climate agriculture and its mineral resources well this is the picture of a treeless grassland how we can see it is a treeless grassland because see children we cannot see any of the tree over here you cannot see any tree in this picture only the open grasslands only grass can be seen here that is why it is called treeless grasslands see every continent has such features means the treeless grasslands this is a map of the world in which yellow part green part and light yellow part is showing the different grasslands of the world see all the different uh, continents have the grasslands which are known by different names let us see what are they called in north america they are called prairies in south america they are called pampas africa they are known as wells asia and europe they are known as steppes australia downs and antarctica no grassland well why antarctica has no grassland because this continent is covered with ice throughout the year see now we will study about the location of the prairies well children first let me tell you what are prairies what does the word prairie mean well prairie has been taken from a french language the word which means grasslands so in north america these treeless grasslands are known as prairies let us see what is the location of prairies in north america well they are located in the northern hemisphere between the equator and the north pole they are situated in the temperate zone watered by the river mississippi and its tributaries well this is now the biggest farming region of the world why because the treeless grasslands has been turned into farming areas see this is a map of prairies in united states of america let us know what is the climate of prairies well being situated or located in the temperate zone it has hot summers and cold winters but the rainfall is moderate the climate is suitable for the growth of grass but not the trees why because they have very hot summers very cold winters and water is not enough because rainfall is moderate well in the spring season here the grass grows quickly but it turns into hay in autumn because of the less rainfall and heat agriculture you can see a machine is doing the work in the farmland now let us know about how agriculture is being done in prairies well the soil of the prairies is dark and fertile the chief crop grown here is wheat but let me tell you the main crop in the southern prairies is cotton the other main crops are maize barley rye cotton oats and useful grasses do you know 
priories are also known as wheat basket of the world. Why wheat basket of the world? Yes, because they grow that much of wheat which is not only sufficient for their country but is also exported to other countries of the world because of which it is known as the wheat basket of the world. Well, the other main crops I told you are bar maize, barley, rye, cotton, oats and useful grasses. Do you know all the farming work like job uh, plowing, sowing, harvesting, threshing and winnowing is done with the help of machine. Do you know which what is the name of this machine? Well, this one machine which does all the work done in the agriculture or included in the farming is known as combined harvester. So, Wheat is exported to many countries of the world, I told you earlier, and for their own use, they store the food grains in big storage bins, which are known as silos. I repeat, silos are the big storage bins in which food grains are stored. Homesteads. Now, what are homesteads? Homesteads are the houses built for the farm, fam, farmer's family and workers in the farmlands. See, this is a picture of silos in which store uh, food grains are stored. Ranches. Now, let us know about what are ranches. Well, ranches are the open areas which are used for rearing animals. Animals are also uh, reared there. Cattle and sheep. For what? Cattle and sheep are reared for milk and meat. Dairy products are processed through modern industrial methods. And of course, for the meat, there are slaughterhouses which are located in the towns and cities and the main slaughterhouse over here is Chicago for slaughtering the animals. Let us know something about the mineral resources found here. Well, the main mineral resources found here are coal, lignite and mineral oil. It is rich in minerals. Mainly found are lignite, coal and mineral oil. Important industries are oil processing, packaging and mining. Other important industries are meat, packing and flour mills. Most of their activities are still controlled by the climate as it has Hot, very hot and very cold climate with moderate rainfall. Well, I let us have a quick glance of the chapter. Well, we are studying about prairies or the open treeless grasslands. These grasslands are located in the temperate zone of each continent. And here we are studying about the prairies, treeless grasslands which are located in North America. Well, prairies are watered by the river Mississippi and its tributaries. Prairies region is the biggest farming region in the world. The soil here is dark and fertile. The chief crops grown in northern and southern prairies are wheat and cotton respectively. The prairies of North America are also known as wheat basket of the world. Cattle and sheep are mainly reared on large open areas that are called ranches. Yes, there are many slaughterhouses in the prairies and Chicago is the important uh, slaughtering center for the animals. Main industries here are packaging and floor mills, mining, etc. 
I hope you must have understood the chapter well and I will advise you to see this video again and again so that you can learn the its facts by heart. And at the last, I will suggest you work hard but the work should be smarter. Thank you.